This is a demonstration video of how to use WordQ. WordQ is compatible with most any word processing software and today I'm going to use it with Microsoft Word. Right now I have the settings set for it to give me a list of words and for it to read each word as well as each sentence. But I'm also going to show you some other features that it can do. And see I can type in one and it will finish today. the word. And then it gives me a list of words that it thinks might come after today. I am demonstrating how to use word Q. Today I am demonstrating how to use word Q. You can see after um, you finish typing the sentence and you put in your punctuation, it will go ahead and read that sentence back to you. As you type words, word, Q products, what? Word you are using got to use and eats the word after you type it. As you type words, word Q predicts what word you are going to use and reads the word after you type it. It. Word. Q. Allows. Also. See, by making a typo and it reads it out loud to you, it lets you realize that you typed the word incorrectly. Will. Read. Paragraphs. See, I made a mistake. Paragraphs. Paragraphs. You've kind of got to be on the right, um, on the right roll with trying to spell the word in order for WordQ to pick it up. I'm sure you've noticed that. Two. You, WordQ also will read paragraphs to you. Okay, and if I want it to read all of the text that I have on my screen instead of just the sentences, if I go and select the text that I want it to read and hit read. Today I am demonstrating how to use WordQ. As you type words, WordQ predicts what word you are going to use and reads the word after you type it. WordQ also will read paragraphs to you. WordQ will also use work with your email accounts. I'm going to send a demo email to myself. Charles Adair, Yahoo. Testing. I am sending this email as a test to see if WordQ will work with my email. I am sending this email as a test to see if WordQ will work with my email account. And it does. One of the few disadvantages of WordQ is this little box right here that appears on your screen where your words are found. Um, sometimes that box may get in the way of what you're trying to type or where you're trying to put text, especially if you're using it in something outside of a word processing program.